Chevys cost less at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Save on new Silverado 1500, 2500 heavy duty, and 3500 heavy duty trucks. Shop online at jackburford.com. Jack Burford Chevrolet, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your Thursday afternoon news brief. Two Madison County women are now in custody after a child was discovered running on Merrick Drive naked and was nearly hit by a car. According to the Madison County Sheriff's Department, they arrived to the home of 30-year-old Kristen Lawson to find six other children living in alleged deplorable conditions. All seven children were removed from the home. Lawson, as well as 18-year-old Shelby Barrett, were taken to the Madison County Detention Center. Both were charged with wanton endangerment and seven counts each of endangering the welfare of a minor. The name of the person who died in a wreck last night in Ravenna has been released. The incident occurred around 9 p.m. on 1571, which is also called Miller's Creek Road. According to Kentucky State Police, the car, driven by 48-year-old Stephen Rison, crossed the middle line and hit another vehicle head-on. Rison was pronounced dead at the scene, and officials are still unsure if alcohol was a factor in the crash. The other driver, Amy Elliott, was taken to Markham and Wallace Hospital in Irvine with non-life-threatening injuries, along with her passenger. A Waco man who allegedly held a woman underwater and knocked out some of her teeth has been recently indicted on charges of attempted murder and first-degree assault. 25-year-old Leonard Dyer, according to the indictment, had held the woman in a bathroom and abused her, including allegedly attempting to keep her head underwater. Documents detail this was not an isolated incident of abuse between Dyer and the victim. Dyer could be facing 10 to 20 years for each charge. The Lexington Fayette County Health Department says two more bats have tested positive for rabies. The health department is making sure that all pets are vaccinated as the viral disease is transmitted through bites. A bat, which is abnormally active during daytime hours or observed and able to fly, may be infected with the disease. You are asked to not handle the bat and instead call the Division of Environmental Health and Protection. And today, the Kentucky League of Cities met on EKU's campus. The KLC meets annually with mayors from across Kentucky to discuss issues that affect citizens. The KLC discussed issues today such as medical marijuana and the pension bill. They then bring their decisions to Frankfurt, where Mayor Jim Barnes said they are often receptive to their request. Stay tuned to WBONTV.com tonight for the interview with Mayor Barnes. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.